Hate creating bibliographies? We do too. Here are two ways we have found to create bibliographies using MS Word and NoodleTools.com. Welcome to a tutorial on how to create a bibliography using Microsoft Office 2010. My name is Jennifer and I'll be assisting you. What you'll need to know are some basics of a PC and familiarity with Microsoft Word. The objective is how to use Microsoft Word 2010 to create a bibliography. What you'll need before getting started is a list of all your references and the essay that you'll be using to cite your sources. I'm first introducing you to the reference tab which holds three main categories that you will need to know. Manage sources, style format, bibliography and works cited. These are the categories that you'll be working with as we proceed. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using a document that was already created entitled Literature Review. From Microsoft Office, once it's open, it'll open in the Home tab. You'll want to then make a clicker to References tab located at the top menu to open the Citations and Bibliography section. In the References tab is where you'll find the Managed Sources category, the Style Format, and also the Bibliography category which also includes the work cited. Now that you know where your tools are for creating the bibliography, let's get started with creating your citations. From where we left off, click on Manage Sources and that will open your Manage Source box to be able to create a new source. From the Manage Source box, you'll want to click on the Edit button on the right hand side and this will allow you to create a new source from the Create Source box, you'll be able to select your type of source, and in this example, we'll use a book. Once you select the type, you can then begin inserting the name of the author, as well as the additional information for publisher and city. Once you have entered in all the sources for your essay, you'll then want to insert your bibliography. Place your cursor at the end of your document, which will allow you to then add a new page. From the menu, click on the Insert tab. And on the upper left-hand side, you'll be able to click on the button that says Insert New Page. This will allow you to add a new page at the end of your document. Now place your cursor at the top of the new page. Change your menu option from Insert to References to be back into the Citations and Bibliography section. Then click on the Bibliography button to see the drop-down box for Bibliography or Works Cited. Select the Bibliography. Microsoft Office will now insert the Bibliography in MLA style from your previous selection. If you need to change your format to APA format, all you'll need to do is go back to your Resources tab, click on the Style Type, so the drop-down box, you'll be able to select your APA style format in the latest edition and then click on the bibliography and you'll be able to see your new bibliography in APA style format. Welcome to a tutorial on how to create a bibliography on Noodle Tools. My name is Virginia and I will be assisting you. What you'll need to know is how to navigate a website. The objective is to learn how to use NoodleTools.com to create a bibliography. What you'll need before starting is a list of the references, your essay, and an account on NoodleTools.com. Once you've created your account, click Create New Project, name the project, and get started. This is the first page you come to on NoodleTools and you click NoodleBib MLA Starter. Clicking that link brings you here where you get to click Bibliography to get started. On this page you choose what kind of source you have and then click Create Citation. For my first example, I chose book. After you choose what kind of source you have, you have to choose where it's from, print, online, or digital file. Then you come to this page where you put in all of the information you can about your text. Here's my first example of a book where I've put in all of the information that I have on the book, and then I click Generate Citation. Once you click Create Citation, you get to this page where it's finished for you and you can copy and paste. Now let's try it out for a journal article. When choosing a journal article, you have to see if it's in print or online because it differs in how you cite it. After choosing where it's from, you have to put all the information about the article that you know. Click Generate Citation. 
This is what it should look like thus far. I want to clarify that my journal article includes a title of a book, but this does not italicize the book's title. Be sure to check for that if your title includes such a thing. The last source that I'm going to show in MLA is a reference source or dictionary. After clicking reference source, you're taken to this page where you choose which kind you're going to use. After choosing what kind of reference source you're using, put in all of the information you can about it and then click Generate Citation. Here's my example of an online dictionary. Once clicking Generate Citation, you're brought here where you can see all of the citations you have so far. Now let's try the same thing for APA. Unfortunately, you have to click NoodleBib Express because that's what they have for APA. After clicking NoodleBib Express, choose APA. Again, choose what kind of source you have, for me, book. Then it asks you to clarify what you mean by that source and click Next. Choose where you can find the source and again click Next. Put in all of the information you have about the source and click Next. Here is what your APA version of the book source should look like. Now let's do one for a journal. Again, choose where you found it to have an accurate citing. Specify on what kind of journal article you have. Fill in as much information as you can about it and click Next. Here is the complete version of the APA citation. You do not need to worry about the book title in the article title for this one. Now let's do the dictionary, which is a reference source located under non-periodicals. Clarify that it is indeed a reference source. And choose what kind of source it is, in my case online. Choose what kind of reference source it is, in this case dictionary. After clicking Next, you get your full citation. Here is what all three of those APA sources look like. And finally, here is what both of them look like together.